Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Everyone, Luke Immerse Prime here, so it's time for this week's merchandise showcase. So, in terms of course what I did last week then, so last Saturday I was able to unbox my action figure of Moon Knight from Marvel Legends. Definitely a really cool figure of Moon Knight that they've done, which I really enjoyed unboxing last week. Then also last week I also built my Lego set of Bumblebee from G1 Transformers, which was a lot of fun to build. And then today I got several pretty cool things, so for starters, I was able to get two video games. One of them is a PS3 game, and it's part of a Marvel franchise I want to get into when it comes to its first two games. I've already got this game's second game of this franchise, and I also got the first game today, of course, which is Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I'll be really keen to check out this game, so, so yeah, I got it on PS3 there, so I can play it and its sequel. Then I got a game on PS5, which I know has a really big fan base, and, and and I'm thinking, you know what, I might as well get this, you know, to check out one day, of course, and I also got this game because it's made by the company Bandai Namco, which is pretty cool because it's a Japanese company in Japan, Japan's my favourite country nowadays, especially because of video games, and this game, of course, is none other than Elden Ring. I heard this game was really popular when it first came out a couple of years ago, so I thought, you know what, I should probably get into it now, right? So yeah, I got it. This is the Shadow of, of the Earth Tree edition of it as well, which includes, like, expansions. This is an expansion, yeah, so hopefully it'll be good. Then after that, I was able to get three films today on Blu-ray. Uh, two which are just normal Blu-rays, the other one is a Steelbook. On Blu-ray, first of all, I, I was able to get a film which, which is one of my favourite roles of Ben Affleck of all time, which is The Accountant. My opinion, a really good action movie. Really good movie, in my opinion, and real love the accountant. Then I also got another film, which is a film that I actually saw earlier this week, and I definitely really loved and I, want, I wanted to get physically. And this film has in my favourite live action role of Dustin Hoffman of all time, a role that he definitely really did, did deserve his Oscar for as well. And that, of course, is none other than Rain Man. A really amazing film with Dustin Hoffman's in alongside Tom Cruise, and he won the Oscar for his, his performance in this, which is incredible. And this one we won for Oscars too, including his Oscar, including Best Picture, which is awesome. Very well deserved. Love Rain Man. Then I got a Blue Steel book for one of my favourite films of all time by one of my directors ever, which is Quentin Tarantino. This is actually a film which was split into two parts and has one of my favourite female characters in semantic history of all time. And this film split into two parts as a steel book I got is none other than Kill Bill, parts one and two as a steel book. So, my fun here, have a bride herself, who is easily my favourite wall of Uma Thurman, one of my favourite characters, who's been my semantic history of all time. On my back, really cool shot from, I think it's part one, that, yeah, in the fight scene towards the end, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, I absolutely love Kill Bill. Then today, guys, I got several action figures, well, three of them. Two of them are Transformers, and the one is a NECA figure. So, the first one is for an Autobot, who appears based on concept art for how they would have appeared in Bumblebee. But I don't think this character actually appeared in Bumblebee, unless he appeared in a non can cam on the background, I have no idea, but it's a figure of Sunstreaker. And if you guys do not know, this character is actually Sideswipe's brother from G1, if you guys are fans of G1, you'll be aware this, this is his brother Sunstreaker, so... Yeah, it's a pretty good figure of a Sunstreaker there, based on how he would appear in Bumblebee, hopefully he can appear in the franchise one day, hopefully. And speaking of Bumblebee, I was able to get a figure as well of... Bumblebee himself as he appears based on Transformers Animated, which is in my opinion an underrated show. And I, and I think Bumblebee was pretty cool on that show, yeah, so I got a figure of him. This is a Transformers Legends United toy line, which is a pretty cool figure of him. And now for a NECA figure, which was definitely a really cool find I must say, because this is the initial appearance of a character before he's, he's turned into one of my favourite cinematic characters of all time, one of her action heroes of all time. And that NECA figure, of course, is not on other than of alex murphy and here he is right here in his police uniform with lots of really cool accessories such as like he's also heads of course when he when he gets killed and and, and like loads of like bloody parts of like his hands and his, his blown off arm as well and his armor with blood on it as well gunshots comes with guns and alternate heads as well and alternate hands but yeah it's really cool but still got my roller cop ultimate necker figure which i'm happy to have so yeah finally got alex murphy then finally i got two lego sets today one of them is a DC set, and that, of course, is a Lego set of 
of Lego Batwing Batman vs Joker. And I think based on the design, it's loosely based on the 1989 movie, especially because you know of Batman and Joker's designs, I think. Yeah, which is pretty cool. And also the bat symbol as well is very similar. So yeah, I think it might be loosely based on the 89 movie. And the final thing that I got Lego wise is actually something for display purposes because it's actually a piece of a character's head, pretty much, really. Or I guess we could say a helmet. And I thought I'd get this, you know, helmet for display purposes because it's the helmet for my favourite cinematic villain of all time, of course, which is a Lego helmet of Darth Vader. Here he is. Lego Darth Vader helmet for display, which I'm really happy to have. So this one will definitely go on display, which I'm really happy to have. So looks really awesome. So I'm very happy to have this. So yeah, uh, Lego Darth Vader helmet there for display, which is awesome. So guys, uh, this, uh, of course, is what I got this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, you know the drill, guys. Be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to leave in the comments what you guys uh, thought of the vlog. What was your favourite thing that I got? Let me know in the comments below what was your favourite. Also, be sure to join Team Pump by pressing the subscribe and to come in the future. And I'll see you all later.